The construction of a second hotel in St. David moved one step closer to reality on Tuesday with the groundbreaking ceremony for the Intercontinental brand property. Tuesday's ceremony took place five months after the signing of the agreement for the project. Member of Parliament for St. David, Honorable Oliver Joseph, said the second hotel provides firm evidence of investor confidence in Grenada and government's management of the local economy. Minister Joseph also cited the peace and tranquility of St. David, known as the Virgin Parish, as one of the factors that influenced range development's decision to make such a significant investment. In business, you have two key, uh, key factors. One, confidence, and two, risk. You must know the risk that you are taking because you are spending millions of dollars. And so you must be certain of your investment. And as Mohammed indicated, Grenada, politically stable, good workforce, highly literate people, friendly people, nice scenery, these are the attributes that you want when you want to invest in hotels because hotels are built for tourists. And when tourists come to your area, they want to know that you have a peaceful country. At the moment, the majority of people from St. David's will have to travel to St. George's and to the south to find employment because that's where you have the jobs. Now it will be the reverse. People from St. George's and St. Andrews will be coming, the, coming to St. David's to find jobs because over 300 permanent jobs will be created at the opening of the hotel. Mohamed Asaria, co-owner and director of Range Developments, described Tuesday's groundbreaking as a momentous day for Grenada and the intercontinental brand. Grenada provides us an environment where there's political stability and there's a respect for the rule of law. This means our investment is safe. And that is so important to someone investing far away from where one lives. I've ignored so many invitations from countries across the region and beyond because this is lacking. However, Grenada provides us that operating environment in which we can thrive and more so invest with confidence. Minister Joseph, what's happening here in St. David's in just, is just remarkable. In less than four years, you've gone from a parish with very little tourism product to one which is going to be having a very significant impact on the Caribbean, on the Caribbean landscape. The Six Senses is on the cusp of op opening and work on the Intercontinental is starting. Truly remarkable. Prime Minister, Minister jo Joseph, you must be as proud as we are today. Asaria said his team is diligently reviewing the designs and they are ready to make the site live. We have a crew which is ready to move across. There's heavy equipment and they're ready to move from the six senses to the intercon, and very soon this will be a live site. Design on the project has commenced with pace and will continue with the same speed to ensure that within three and a half years from today, we're here to cut the ribbon of the intercontinental Grenada. At that time, the dinner time discussion will be, which is a better hotel? Is it the six senses Grenada or the intercontinental Grenada? As they'll occupy positions one and two in the Caribbean hotel sector. And I've always said this sort of competitive tension between assets is good. As long as it's a range hotel and it's in Grenada, what more do we all want? He also noted that range developments is not done with development in Grenada as yet as there are plans for the construction of a third hotel in St. David.